We're gonna actually get towed out. It's like 10 miles out. I don't know. It's gonna get wet, but uh, yeah, it should be okay. That's a fish, that's a fish. Yeah! Woo! Nice to have this lithium ion battery. But anyways, uh, 4.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning. You know, normally I don't fish on the weekends, or at least I try not to, um, mainly because of crowds and everything else. But today, I'm really excited for this trip. I haven't been this excited for a fishing trip in a long time. One, because I'm gonna be catching one of my most favorite fish types of fish to catch. I think it is my favorite. I'm gonna say it's my top favorite. Um, and two, we're gonna take these kayaks, me and my buddy June, aka More Than Fishing. Um, we're gonna take our kayaks. We both have these Old Town uh, Sportsman Autopilot 120s. We're gonna tow them out 10 miles to a place that I don't think there's ever been kayaks out there. It's gonna be in uncharted waters out there, trolling around in super deep water, hoping to find an early, early season salmon. You know, it's possible that there hasn't been any um, salmon caught from a kayak yet this year on the California coast. Who knows, you know, maybe there's someone out there who's catching them, but I haven't heard of any salmon, so we're hoping today we can be the first ones. At least I hope one of us can get one. Um, but anyways, we got a long journey ahead, a lot of moving pieces, so I don't want to hold these guys back. You know, we got a long journey out there, 10 miles. It's going to take us a little while, so uh, let's get our kayak up on the roof rack and get over to the harbor and uh, get on our way out there. Man, I'm excited. Let's go get him. We got me. Oh, make sure my kayak doesn't float away. And June, more than fishing. Matt is right there too. We're gonna actually get towed out. It's like 10 miles out. 10 miles out. 10 miles out. We're just trying to catch some salmon. So uh, yeah, it's a little mothership deal. I've never done this before. So we're gonna see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, sorry, we gotta get going. They're waiting for us, so. We'll see you out there. Well, we made it out. We're out, I think like seven or eight something miles. Sorry, I, I wish I could have filmed more of the process, but I was kind of, my first time doing anything like this. So I kind of want to make sure everything was, was good to go. And the kayaks made it out here safely. So June's behind me, or to the side of me here, more than fishing. And then ahead of us, we have the mothership, um, which has um, Fisherman's Life, Matt's and Chenzi from uh, Fishing Chef. So, we're all out here, four, four YouTubers, a bunch of sets of cameras. I can't thank Phil enough. Um, if you haven't seen his channel already, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, but we're out here. We're salmon fishing. If you're familiar with um, West Coast or California salmon fishing, um, most of the season actually got delayed until at least June. We're actually not sure when the official opening date is gonna be yet. Um, but there's a little sliver of the coastline that's open to salmon fishing and that's exactly where we are right now. And normally this area 
uh, of the coastline is not really, I mean, you could launch kayaks here, but uh, for salmon, mostly they're, they're mostly out deep. Um, so like I said, we're off like seven or eight miles right now, way outside of anywhere I would normally be um, without the mothership. So that's why I was saying thank you to Phil. I can't thank him enough for bringing us out here, but we're officially doing it. It's my first drop of 2021. We're on the downrigger down about like 30 feet or so. Um, I got a flasher with, or sorry, a Dodger with a uh, little crippled anchovy. Trolling it around right now. I'm going about two miles an hour, maybe a little more. Let's see. Yeah, right around two miles an hour. Trolling right here, trolling actually, I think west right now, um, right into the sun. But anyways, yeah, hopefully we can get them. They got, these guys did pretty well yesterday right around this area. So um, there should be some fish around here. Hopefully they didn't move too far from where they were before, where they were yesterday. And uh, we should get them. I'm excited. Man, it's good to be back. I've been waiting all year since last salmon season closed to get back out here. Um, last year, salmon season was pretty embarrassing for me, to be honest. I didn't, I don't know, I lost a few fish. And I don't know, I just didn't didn't convert when I needed to last year. Only got a few keepers. So anyways, this year we're coming back for redemption. Hopefully that redemption starts today. All right guys, we'll do a quick little 360 here. Now look at this open ocean. There's June. But everywhere else, it's all open ocean. No boats around except for our mothership boats a little bit off in the distance there they're showing a little faster than us um, but yeah i mean there's land it's there but it's not close there's our rod come on come on salmon i know you're there morning how's it going good how about you good you have any luck no yeah we just started uh, we actually got towed. We're with that boat up there. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, no, they, we wouldn't make it out this far without that. I got you. But yeah, do you need do, do you need our license or anything? Yeah, sure. If you just hold up. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay, thank you. What you Harmless. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck, man. That'll probably be real fun to get the same Yeah, I hope so. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Hope so. So one of the safety precautions that we have with a motored kayak is we have this kill switch. Um, so that way, if I accidentally, you know, fall off the kayak or slip off, it doesn't keep motoring away. Cause if that were to happen, I mean, I'd probably be okay. Cause I'm out here with some other people, but if you're by yourself, especially you don't want your kayak to keep motoring away. You'll never catch up to it. You'll be stuck out here. So, um, yeah, that's why it's important to have this kill switch with a motor, especially if there was a, like it was a pedal kayak or a paddle kayak, yeah, you wouldn't have to worry about it as much because, um, it's not gonna, you know, there's no motor to keep going. Once you stop pedaling, there's no power on it, but with a motor, I mean, it's gonna keep going until you tell it to stop. So once I pull, if I were to pull this switch right here, there's a little, uh, key thing that plugs in on this side. Once I pull that out, it shuts everything down. So. Um, that's just another one of the safety precautions we have out here. Look at that jellyfish. That's why it's important to check your lines every once in a while. Get rung up on some kelp, some jellyfish. And you can check your bait while you're at it. Yeah, see you even got some jellyfish on there. It's not good. Ooh, that stings a little bit. Reset and drop again. All right, first sign of fish. Our mothership just had a bite. 
I don't think they uh, hooked it. I think it was just a short strike, but it was definitely a bite. Guys, we just got two bites. How deep? One was 25 and the other one was 40. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Fish are here, we just gotta find them. I think it's only a matter of time where we get bit. Just put a fresh anchovy on too. Come on, come on. Hit it. That's a fish, 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 fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Oh shoot, my radio. June! Shoot, I gotta get my radio. That's a fish still. Fish on! That's a fish. Ah, uh, can't go get the radio. Fish is more important right now. Can you pick up my radio? Oh yeah, oh look at that chrome. It has been too long since I've seen that chrome. Oh man, this motor is awesome. I can uh, just worry about the fish. Oh, it's a good one. It's still fresh. Woo Look at that. Outrunning the kayak. No, 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 no. Oh, that's close. Oh no, my net is stuck. Holy smokes, this is terrible. Oh, there we go. Got the net out. Come on in. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh, look at that. That is a fresh fish. This is no lake salmon. In the net. Woo! Yeah. Good one, good one. Did you pick up my radio? Shoot. It's about 30 inches. I dropped my radio. No, I dropped it in the water. Oh, you dropped it? Yeah, it's it's uh it's around here somewhere. Oh, I'll I'll try to look for it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Woo! Oh man, that's a good one too. It's probably like uh I think it's around 30 inches or so. I dropped my radio though, I need to go try and find it. I was debating cutting the motor and trying to get back and get the, the radio, but uh, the chrome the chrome takes priority. But let's see, I think I can find it here. It's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the radio. We gotta go get that. Get the radio and then I cut the motor. We could take care of the fish. Oh man, this Pope was perfect, man. So much easier. I mean, it's still a kayak, so it's not like catching them in a boat, but it is just so much easier to catch them in this than uh, my Outback. Not to say that I don't like the Outback. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that 
out back at some point, but for now I'm gonna enjoy this setup that we got here and get my radio back. Ah, there we go. This guy fell off. Woo! This might be the first kayak caught salmon on the California coast. Because, uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, we're, we're way out here, way past like normal kayak range, and we'd have no chance to get out here if it wasn't for the mothership deal. But we out here and we got him. Ah, locked in. Oh, it's official. I got him pretty good. I mean, it could have come off. It always could come off because, uh, yeah, I guess I haven't mentioned yet, but barbless hook for salmon in California always. Oh, he's fresh. Look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Nice. King salmon has got the black gums. Look at that scar he's got on his mouth. Not sure what that's from. It might have been, maybe, you know what? I think it might be from. I think it might be that it was hooked uh, maybe when it was smaller. And that's kind of like a scar. Probably got tore up a little bit, but you know, that's why we use barbless hook because when you catch the small ones, it's a lot easier to let them go. The mortality rate is a lot lower with barbless hook. And uh, yeah, that's a wild fish. It's got the adipose fin there intact. Um, so in California, our populations are so low uh, for so many reasons that um, a lot of the fish we catch are hatchery fish um, that they release as smolts. And honestly, uh, I mean, as far as taste goes and fight, the hatchery may be a little bit uh, weaker, but uh, they, they're pretty close, pretty similar, uh, because they release them at such a young age. They pretty much go through the whole life cycle. But anyways, that's a wild fish. Uh, someone told me that they don't actually clip all the fish that they release during the hatchery, so it's possible. I'm not really sure. Here, we'll get an official measurement for you guys. I know for sure he's a keeper. So 24 inches. Keep her fish in this area. Just getting official. Oh, not quite 30. He's 29. Got that mouth closed. Yeah, 29. 29. Still, that's a good fish. Especially early in the season. A lot of times, early in the season, the salmon are um, a little bit smaller. Usually, get the bigger ones towards the end of the season. So that's. I'll take it. I will take it for sure. Yes! That's my first one of 2021, baby. Hopefully many more to come. All right, I'm gonna bonk and bleed him and uh, get line back in, go for number two. So one thing I'm excited about with this fish um, as they get baited back up here, uh, one thing I'm excited about is we usually when they're out deep like this, you know, farther offshore, um, usually the meat quality is actually better because they're feeding more on krill and less on um, anchovies. Um, and the krill is what gives it that really uh, dark orange color, the meat. So um, maybe I'll insert a little uh, picture of the, the fillets once I fillet it up here, but I, I think this quality is gonna be really good. So I'm excited for that. Plus it's early in the season, uh, just everything going right. Oh man, I haven't been this excited for a fish in a long time. So I actually ditched the uh, crippled anchovy and I caught that one on an FBR, which is this this guy right here. It's a little little hood, similar to the crippled anchovy that you put your uh, you can put your anchovy in. And uh, what it does is when it gets in the water, it just spins it. There's no roll; it's just a spin. So um, you know, one thing you gotta watch out for a line twist. So you got a bead chain there to prevent that. I'm not really sure what FBR stands for, but anyways, you stick the anchovy in there and then it, it pins down with this little pin. And then this like, it's basically like a propeller. It spins in the water like that. Not a roll like the crippled anchovy would instead of spin. Sometimes this works too. I don't know, work today. All right guys, it's coming down to the wire here. We're gonna have to cut it or call it pretty soon here. We're so far out, it's gonna take us a long time to get back because uh, we can't, when we're towing the boats in, we can't go super fast. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the way out, but we're going probably like 
uh, maybe seven or eight miles an hour, maybe even less. Uh, it's just, you, you can't pull the boats any faster than that or they're gonna dip into the water and possibly flip. So anyways, you can tell the wind's coming up a little bit. This is probably our last pass through here. See if we can get one more fish, but if not, it's been a successful day and hopefully the ride back in isn't too bad. Luckily, we're gonna have the wind at our back or somewhat, or at least some, you know, coming at an angle from our back. So it won't be too bad. We won't be cutting straight into the wind, um, but it's gonna be a bumpy ride back. I mean, it's not gonna, this morning was a nice ride out. This, the way back's not gonna be quite as nice. All right, that's gonna do it for the fishing side of things. We gotta strap up and get back. As you can tell, it's wind's picking up a little bit. So time to head in. We'll see you on the big boat. All right, guys, we made it back to the harbor. Safe and sound. I think everything's gonna be a little wet, but that's okay what it's built for but anyways thank you to all these guys fishing chef got one what was your channel again sorry fishing I forgot. and fiddle fishing and fiddle this guy is my hero right now <laughs> my yeah. favorite channel of all time <laughs> anyways i'll leave it in the description make sure you check it out put people on fish that's right not only can he catch fish he can tell me to catch fish so <laughs> and then don't forget more than fishing guy, guy the guy the <laughs> i think you could see that uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, so it was a fun day. These guys got some. Uh, June left some for next week. Yeah. <laughs> and I got my first one of 25. Pretty sure it's the first kayak salmon in California this year. Pretty sure. Anyways. Yeah, thank you to these guys. Thank you to this guy especially. We gotta go clean everything up. I think we're yeah, gonna be yeah, pretty yeah. wet. I think I said this earlier, but um, my goal for this year is to catch 20 kayak salmon. And 10, oh, look at that wave. Dude, we didn't come in now. Anyways, we gotta get going, but my goal is to catch 20 kayak salmon and 10 for my outback, my regular pedal soon. So one down, 19 to go, but we gotta get going, we gotta clean up. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.